now we have this df dot shape which is df no outliers under this value and now we have this value 10,000 and now we have z score so what is the z score z score is nothing so z score for that is 3 because it is 3 standard deviation right calculation of z score will be like z score df height minus df mean and this one right so i'm going to calculate the z score in the separate column so uh, let me go for the z score formula z score images can you see this is the positive this is called positive z score right on the right hand side we have positive z score on the left hand side we have negative z score right as far as calculation is concerned uh, yes this is the calculation right for each value we have x minus x bar so x is what x is this height right so this height minus what height minus this mu mu is mean and this sigma is standard deviation which is 3 point something for us right so for each value we are getting standard deviation we are getting mean over here we are getting df if you can correlate this formula using this figure you can easily find out the jo z square each row ka wo kaise nikal raha hai right we have this z score formula for example our case standard deviation is this one we have this z formula for this one so above for first record the height of 3.84 z score is this one this means 73.81 standard deviation away from me right it's a 1.94 standard deviation away from me right then we have get points z square then 3 and minus 3 so this is be when we have greater than or equal to 3 so we are going to discard these values which is having 3 standard deviation right so we have 3 so in this formula where we have calculated this values uh, this where we had 99.7 and all so what is the maximum score we selected this 99.7 so 99.7 ke aapne dono taraf kya kara tha aapne usko remove kara tha So once you have chosen this formula means you have selected z as a 3 right as a 3 you had selected on the both side now if you are selecting this 3 means beyond 3 you are selecting you are discarding these values so here we have 9 1 2 3 4 5 these 5 elements are we are going to remove and when we have z less than minus 3 these two elements candidates are having less than 3 elements less than 3 z score क्योंकि यहां पे नेक्स्ट कॉलम से हमने कैलकुलेट करा है यूजिंग दिस फार्मूला तो अब इन दोनों के रेंज के बाहर ये पांच ये सिक्स एलिमेंट है लाइक 5 6 7 7 एंड कैंडिडेट्स दोस आर नॉट फॉलोइंग इन दिस कैटेगरी और यू कैन से 3 z स्कोर और -3 z स्कोर के बियॉन्ड ये सेवन कैंडिडेट्स आ रहे हैं सो आई एम गोइंग टू कलेक्ट दिस वैल्यूज ऑल दीस कैंडिडेट्स एंड फाइनली रिमूव द आउटलायर्स एंड प्रोड्यूस न्यू डेटा फ्रॉम so this is the clean data set which has removed z score on the both side 3 or minus 3k beyond ko remove karne ke. Can you pick up the main idea? Now you have removed the outlets or you have the clean data set and then you can go ahead. Do we have any query? Okay. So in the third formula, we are going to remove the outlet using IQR formula and we will see what is it. First, let me describe the data set. What kind of data set we are taking away? We are taking this data set where we have uh, heights, right? Name and heights will be there. And then we have described the formula. Here you can see standard deviation is 8, right? Minimum is 1.2 percent. This one and detecting outliers using this one. First, what we have find out? We have find out 25 percent, 75 percent. Okay, let me go ahead. Here we have box plot. Let me show you box plot value. So this image showing 
box block. Certain properties are there associated within the given case. Here we have lower quartile, right? What is the lower quartile? In this lower quartile, we have this is called 25 percentile somewhere, right? And here we call it 75 percent, right? This is the median means this is 50 percentile, right? So this is percentile. We had discussed uh, yesterday session percentile is different from percentage. So we are having 25 percentile. 50 percentile beyond above we have max 75 percent what is this maximum and what is this minimum value it's not the minimum value out of the given data set or in other words it's not the maximum value of above all the data set it's something else what's it is i'm going to explain so let me explain this q1 and q3 this is q1 first quartile this is 25 percentile q3 is what 75 percentile. So I have taken quantile percentage and then 0.25, which is giving around 5.35 and 6.75 respectively. Now I'm giving IQR. IQ is what? Q3 minus Q1, which is giving difference between 75 percentile and 25 percentile. Go back to my box plot. Here you can see this box is kind of this box is kind of I Q R, right? Interquantile range, right? You can see this is so having this is I Q R box where we have this values. And here we have lower quartile and the upper quartile, right? Once I will get the difference between Q3 minus Q1, I will get the range of this IQR, interquartile range. So this is what IQR Q3 minus Q1. You can see this is 0.925 something. Now lower limit. So lower limit is what? Q1 minus Q1 is what? 25 percentile. When you sub subtract 25 percentile minus 1.5 of IQR value, which is 0.95, you will get lower value. In this graph, it's giving minimum, right? So minimum is what? Minimum is not the minimum value. Let me explain again. It's the Q1 lower quartile minus 1.5 multiplied by my IQR. The formula is fixed for every data set. As far as maximum value is concerned, it's again not the maximum value of given data set, but it's a Q3, which is on the right hand side, plus 1.5 times IQR. You can write it down this formula. We have just calculated what we have first calculated. Go again. First, we have calculated Q1, which is the first value. Then we calculated Q3, which is 75 percentile. Then we find the difference between these two. What's this value? This is IQR for us. Then we subtract this Q1, which is this point. From this Q1, we just subtracted 1.5 times of IQR. For this Q3, we added 1.5 times IQR, which is beyond this value. Whatever value you are getting, that is minimum and maximum value. It's not the minimum and maximum directly. Can you can you analyze this value? This is 3.96 something, right? Okay, let me first. But if you'll check the DF and then we have codes H E I G S T and this is minimum value. Correct value is df and that height. When you check the minimum value, it's a 1.2, but we have lower limit as 3.926, which is not equal to each other because it's a conceptually different value. If you will check the maximum value here, max, 
so here we have maximum 40.2 in the given data set that's the maximum value but we are getting upper limit as 7.66 which is far away from this 40.6 40.8 right now we are going to find out the outliers which is the point yes yes rishab okay sir why we calculate iqr what is iqr okay iqr simply the difference between 75 percentile okay it's a just simply iqr is just simply 75 percentile like 75 percentile minus 25 percent it's a fixed formula right ye formula fix hai ki box plot it this 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 plot is called box plot here it gives you so when whenever any interviewer will ask what is the formula for yqr you will say we we calculate first we calculate q1 which is this one 25 percentile then we calculate q3 which is 75 percentile of whole data set then we find the difference between these two and we call it this different as iqr this is the simple uh, uh, simple step then you will have to find the minimum and maximum value so you will say ki sir ye minimum or maximum value uske respective minimum or maximum nahi hai rather minimum is what q1 minus 1.5 times iqr whereas the formula for maximum is q3 plus 1.5 times iqr did you get this formula this is just summarizing of box plot. Iske lava box plot me kuch bhi formula yaad karne ki jaruhat nahi hai. You have all the formulas in between. Now beyond this minimum and maximum value. I and I have shown you here. This is not the same minimum and maximum. This is something 1.2 and maximum is something 40.2. But we have lower limit here and upper limit. I, I can call it lower lower limit instead of minimum and i'll can it upper limit this one right which means in this box plot you can see here also this in this image you can see outliers jo in minimum or maximum ke beyond values hoti hai like jo value which value is beyond this lower and upper limit 3.96 and 7.66 that is called outlier for you and you want to remove this outlier. So, this outlier may minimum be include hoga or right hand side outlier may maximum may include hoga, which is the only which is justified my earlier statement, which it's not the same minimum and maximum. Hence, you are going to remove all these values minimum and maximum, which is beyond first data and second lower limit and upper limit. All right, now go back here. Here we have all these terms, Joey candidates say they are not following this lower limit or upper limit. So we need to remove these five candidates. Inko bahar nikalo, then you have clean data set without outlier. Now we are going to remove this one. You can see they just all remove. You have clean data set. That's it. You have removed all these unusual data set. Do we have any query, any question out of it? We can go with these, this otherwise aaj koi kuch bol nahi raha like matlab aaj zyada samajh mein nahi aa raha hai what 